Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we're going to be customising the brand new Maibatsu Penumbra FF. This is supposed to be Brian O'Connor's Mitsubishi Eclipse from the first Fast and Furious film. Um, it's an awesome new addition to the game. Um, it has loads of cool customization that we're going to check out in just a second. But before we get into that, if you want to see the customization video for the BF Club for the new Rancher, the um, Yuga Classic 4x4, or for the Coquette D10, then please uh, have a look at the description for the live stream I did the other day. There's a pinned comment in the live stream. Um, that has a time card for each of the customization for each of the vehicles so you can skip to the specific one you want to watch um, so I'm not going to be doing a separate video for those because we customize them in the live stream if you want to if you want to see customization for those vehicles then please refer to the live stream but today we're going to be uh, customizing the Maibatsu Penumbra FF it costs 1.38 million it's a nice looking vehicle um, as I mentioned based off the Mark one Mitsubishi Eclipse um, it looks really nice actually just stock it has some nice tuner wheels on there but it looks like a very um, a very basic JDM vehicle um, just in its stock form it doesn't have much customization um, which is nice we can tune it as much as we want so let's jump into the vehicle and see what this thing has to offer okay so we've got armor and brakes we'll go and throw those on there the front bumper options we have the stock front bumper which actually looks really nice i do like that we have the plate removed which also debadges the front you can see it removes the maibatsu logo um we've got the vent remove which removes the like strut sort of supports on the grill there we've got the underbite bumper the street bumper we've got the futurism bumper uh, that looks a little bit weird we've got the street alternative bumper the style bumper that actually looks really nice I like that we've got the racing bumper and we've got the basking shark bumper oh and we also have the racing alternative bumper which looks really nice. I quite like, uh, where was it, the racing bumper. That looks really nice. Now, I'm not going to go for the Fast and Furious Eclipse build. I've seen a lot of people do that, and obviously that is the build you're supposed to go for with this vehicle. Um, but because that's what you're supposed to do, I want to actually try and make it look unique and build it differently. I don't want to do the Fast and Furious build. Um, so... On the rear bumpers, this looks like it's going to be mainly diffusers. We've got the stock um, bumper. We've got the stock with diffuser. We've got the stock with big diffuser, which basically uh, makes part of the bumper like... Well, it like blends the bumper into the diffuser. We've got the street rear bumper. The ribbed street rear bumper. How is that different? Oh, it adds that like little lip under the um, the back lights. Actually, looks nice. I like that. We've got the ribbed street with diffuser. We've got the race rear bumper, and we've got that with the ribbed version. We've got the ribbed with race diffuser, and that is the whole lot. Um, I quite like the the ribbed street rear bumper. I think that looks quite nice. Or what about the race one now nah, there, there's too much going on with the race one um, I like the ribbed street rear bumper um, so we'll go with that we'll upgrade the engine the exhaust so as stock it has that uh, left twin exit exhaust we can go for a quad rear exit exhaust we can go for the single just on the left there we've got that in a titanium tip uh, we can go for dual small bar exhausts. We've got dual titanium tip. We've got dual big bar, uh, which is also a quad exhaust, has two on each side. We've got the dual double small exhaust, which is like a chrome tip one. 
we've got the dual small bar exhaust which is kind of like the stock one but it's like a chrome tip one which looks really neat and we've got that in a titanium version I quite like the hmm I quite like this one the dual double small exhausts uh, I think that looks really nice the front seats so I'm guessing this is going to be on the interior we've got the street seats we've got racing seats we've got carbon seats competition seats street with primary roll cage street with uh, racing with primary roll cage carbon with primary roll cage competition with primary roll cage then we've got them all in the secondary options i'm gonna go with hmm i don't know what color we're gonna go for so depends whether we want red seat belts or green i like the green one a little bit more the shape of the seat so we'll go with that on the hood options we've got 14 different hood options that's mad uh, so we've got the round vent hood just nice and clean looks really nice and we got that in a carbon version we've got carbon round vents alternative hood so it's basically the same but with like a carbon surround like a carbon sort of flip on it we've got the large square vent hood and we got that in a carbon version we've got the square vent hood which also like sticks up a little bit and we've got that in a carbon version we got the sports hood which just adds some nice little lines on there um, you can't really see it that well with the white but um, it does add just some nice little lines just on the side there and we've got that in a carbon version we got the street hood um, okay that just has some different lines and we've got that in a carbon version we've got the race spec hood which is um, similar to the first ones but it then has that extra vent in the middle and we got that in a carbon version and that is it um i quite like the large square vent uh do we want it in carbon or i'm gonna go for like a tuna style but like a clean tuna look so i feel like the large square vent hood that looks nice we're gonna go for like an aftermarket sort of build um we've got horn and lights but i'm not going to bother with them on the liveries we've got the uh, kisama beer which i believe is a new brand actually we've not seen that before um that's like a pink one with some like japanese writing on the side looks really cool we've got the shopping list which has all the different sponsors down the side on the bonnet and also on the passenger side we've got the shopping list alternate which is basically the same but it's white We've got Atomic Tires, which is like the half yellow and primary color with the Atomic Tire, looks really cool. We've got the Redwood Cigarettes. We've got Almost Had You, which is obviously the um, Fast and Furious livery that you can actually get on the regular Penumbra as well. Um, so you can get that livery on this vehicle if you want to go for the Fast and Furious build. We've got the Sak Sakura tree, uh, which just adds some like sort of cherry tree, Sakura tree like branches on the side. We've got Princess Robot Bubblegum, if you're into that kind of thing. We've got Auto Exotic. That actually looks really nice. I quite like that. And we've got that in blue as well. We've got We Hungry. Um, okay, so this is also another Fast and Furious one. This is supposed to be like Roman's Mitsubishi Eclipse from Too Fast, Too Furious. Um, and we've got the Maibatsu one. Um, I don't know whether I actually want to go for a livery. Uh, we might just go for the shopping list because that's quite clean. Um, it's not too crazy then the next thing we have is mirrors so we have the stock mirrors which are primary we've got carbon mirrors or secondary um, I guess we'll go for hmm I think we'll just keep them stock actually on the plate we've got we'll just go for yellow and black 
Um, now, what colour do we want to go for this? I'm going to go metallic. Um, we've obviously got the black shopping list livery, so we need something that will kind of match that. Um, hmm. I do quite like the like gold colour. That actually looks really nice. Let's go for bronze, and then let's change up the... Let's change up the pearlescent, maybe something a little bit more like orangey yellow colour to make it more bronze. Maybe something like that. Bright orange. Let's just have a look how the yellow looks. Yeah, I think the yellow there, that looks really nice actually. I do like that a lot. The secondary colour is obviously going to change anything that you have as the secondary colour. Does it change anything on the interior? It doesn't look like it, so we'll just leave that for now. Uh, if you go for a secondary option, then it obviously will change that. We've got trim colour, uh, which is actually just going to change that little bit around the dials there. So I guess we'll match that to the exterior. That looks really nice. Uh, on the roof option, we have the stock roof, which is just a flat roof. We can go for a roof scoop. And we've got that in a carbon version. We've got the race scoop, which is a bit more flat. And we've got that in a carbon version. And then we've got the built-in scoop. And we've got that in alternate. What's the difference with those? No, okay, so it's just a little bit wider. So you can see this one's like quite angular. And this one's a little bit more smooth. Um, they look a little bit too big. And they look a little bit weird. Um, I kind of want to go for a roof scoop, but they, they're a little bit big. So I'm going to leave it stock. Um, I don't like any of those roof scoop options. On the skirt options, we have the stock skirt. And we've got that in a carbon version. We've got the small lip skirt, which just adds a little lip to the bottom of the uh, the stock one. And we've got that in a carbon version. We've got the large lip skirt, which is just a bigger lip. And we've got that in carbon. We've got the angled large lip spoiler, which just like outrolls it at the back there. And we've got that in a carbon version. Then we've got the bulbous skirt. And we've got that in a carbon version. We've got the shelved stock. Um, I don't know how that's different to the stock. I guess it adds like a little shelf bit in it. Just in the centre. And we've got that in a carbon version. We've got the rounded shelf skirt. And we've got that in a carbon version. Then we've got the long round shelf skirt. And we've got that in a carbon version. Um, I quite like... Uh, let me just go back to it. Um, I quite like the... Where is it? The small lip skirt just there. It adds that little lip on the bottom. And we're going to go for that in the primary colour as well. On the splitters. So we have got some splitters on this. There's a lot of parts you can change on this thing. Um, oh yeah, that looks much better. So we've got the stock, which doesn't have a splitter, really. You can go for the primary splitter, just a very nice, simple one. Nothing too crazy. We've got that in a carbon version. We've got the primary race splitter, which is a little bit bigger. It has those primary canards down there. We've got that in a carbon version. And it also does have some strut braces. Uh, we've got the basic lip, which is, again, just another little clean one. Just adds a little lip. That looks really nice, actually. We've got the... And a carbon version of that we've got. We've got the Race Splitter Alternative, which, again, is just a nice, clean, little one. Just sort of extends the bumper a little bit and cleans it up. And we've got that in a carbon version. Then we've got the primary setup with intercooler. So this is now going to change the intercooler in the middle as well. And that also does remove your grill on the front. And we've got that in a carbon version. We've got the primary race with intercooler. Um, so that's the primary race one. And then it has the intercooler as well. We've got that in a carbon version. And then we've got the race setup with intercooler, which changes the intercooler as well. 
and we've got that in a carbon version then we've got the race up alternative with intercooler and we've got that in a carbon version um i'm not sure which one to go for um i feel like this one is a little bit too big um i quite like the basic lip uh the race the race splitter alternative is just a little bit too small so i'm gonna go for the uh basic lip i think that looks really nice and then on the spoiler options so as standard it doesn't have a spoiler on there uh, we've got the small wing which also gives you a traction bonus so that's something just to bear in mind if you're going to race this thing uh, that actually looks ridiculous so that wing we've got the carbon version of that we've got the street wing that actually looks really nice that fits the car perfectly and it also has the my batsu sort of logo written on the back we've got a carbon version of that we've got the angled wing which is a little bit bigger get into like a tuna style wing and we've got that in a carbon version we've got the standard wing which is kind of like a tuna style wing again with the mabatsu written on there we've got a carbon version of that we've got the extended wing which is again just a little bit bigger we've got that in a carbon version we've got the large standard wing just a bit bigger again in the carbon and primary we've got the large extended wing uh, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger we got that in carbon we've got the big wing and again that has the maibatsu written across it which is really nice i like that we've got that in carbon as well then we've got the double wing which is kind of like the the wing you see at the very start the first wing and then it has the like tuna wing on top of it kind of like you get with the sultan rs um it's kind of similar we got that in carbon then we've got the chassis mounted wing so these are the ones with like the braces they come from the bumper we've got that in a carbon version we've got the chassis mounted alternative wing and we've got that in carbon um, they look a bit stupid they're a bit too big for my liking um, I quite like just the street wing it looks really neat it looks it does fit the car I don't know where to go for a carbon one or I think just primary looks the best uh, sun strips we can go primary we can go plastic which is just black can have globe oil or we can have hard stand I think maybe the primary sun strip that looks quite nice we'll go with that the suspension you can drop this thing quite a lot um, you can slam this thing if you want um, and it does also camber the wheels a little bit so if that's something you're into I'm not personally a fan of cambering wheels so I'm just gonna lower it um, maybe just by one just so it fits in the arches a little bit better uh, the transmission will upgrade the transmission and we'll stick a turbo on uh, now the wheels let's have a look in the new street class see if there are any wheels that will fit this thing like perfectly uh, something like they would actually quite they would work quite well the Cosmo Mark 3 the deep flake they would also work quite nice the big mamba I don't think they would work um, let me see let's just scroll through yeah none of those are gonna work we want something like quite low profile I think the Cosmos Mark 3 and we'll paint that black yeah that looks really nice we've got some deep dish going on there uh, then do we want to go for some tire lettering um, I don't think the tire lettering looks that great on this we'll go for some bulletproof tires and we'll put some light smoke on there and that is the thing fully customized so let's take it outside now and see how it performs okay so here we are outside in the new my bat super number ff it looks really nice i like the gold color um, i think that was a good choice i mean it's kind of a 90s car and i feel like gold was kind of a 90s color um i don't know why but yeah it looks really nice i like this vehicle a lot um performance wise i don't know how it compares to the rest of the sports cars 
Um, I don't know if it's one of the new fastest or not. I don't know whether it will match the Pariah. Um, but just generally driving it, it does feel really nice actually. It feels very grippy. So um, it has some good acceleration when you put your foot down. Um, turning, it does turn quite nicely. It's very responsive. Uh, like when you go around a corner like I'm going to show here, it does grip very nicely. Um, so I think if you're racing with this thing uh, around corners, like very twisty track, I think you will uh, you'll benefit from using this car. I think it is very good in the corners. It sounds really nice. It's got great customization. I really like the customization on this thing. Um, Rockstar have done quite a good job with this. Um, it's not a Benny's vehicle, but it is on par with Benny's customization. So, if you're looking for a new tuner car to add to your tuner car garage, then I can definitely recommend the new Penumbra FF. It's really cool. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you all for taking a look at the Penumbra FF customization with me if you have enjoyed please drop a like on the video and also subscribe if you are new over the next couple of days we're going to be customizing all of the brand new vehicles um, that did release in this new summer special dlc so if you want to keep up to date with those then please do subscribe and um, as i mentioned at the start of the video if the if you want to see the customization of the four video uh, four cars i mentioned then please refer to the live stream i will link it in the description that is going to do it for today's video thank you all for taking a look and i will see you in the next one